Ladies and gentlemen, recently a new version of the Drastic, and that's the Nintendo DS emulator, had been released for a uh, Open Pandora. This version brings a lot of improvements, and uh, I'm going to show you a few games, a few 3D games running on the newest Drastic emulator, on the newest version of the Drastic emulator. So uh, that's the screen. Uh, we shall start with the uh, Mario Kart DS. The title screen is perfectly fine, music is alright, everything works with no problem. So let's go for the Grand Prix, 50cc, Mario, okay, right, Mushroom Cup, whatever, it's just to give you indication. As you can hear, as you might hear, sound is a bit choppy and uh, the game will be playable but it's uh, not uh, playable at full speed. So I'll let you have a look at the performance of Mario Kart. You have to admit, although it's not really, it is playable, it's not 100% playable, it still looks really impressive, especially when it comes to the graphics. I don't think I'm doing very well, but that should, you, that should give you a rough idea how the game looks like. There we go. So, that's the Mario Kart, let's go for something else, for a different game. Let's give a try with the new Super Mario Bros. Yes, Mario game. No problems with the sounds. This game is a little bit different in performance because the sound in the intro is a bit choppy but the game later on will be much much better but let's uh, give a chance Mario to come back and we'll carry on in a second I don't think I can skip the intro, no I can't so uh, sorry Right, let's go. World number one. I'm going to shoot up for a second so you can see and hear how good this emulation is. Well, that's a big fail. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good start, really, was it? Right, so let's give another try. I shall concentrate on playing the game. Here we go! As you can see, there is not a single smallest problem or issue with this game. It just runs perfectly. I shall carry on for a few seconds, maybe I'll even finish the level. There we go! You have to admit, this game looks really impressive, doesn't it? Let's give a try and go for something else. Load new game. Uh, Final Fantasy third part. This game is also fully playable, 
but it does not run at full speed. I wonder if I could skip it. Doesn't really matter, let's go confirm. It looks really good. It's not even slow down. It's just the sound and uh, a small bit over there. Right, that's the first battle. Uh, I won't be messing around too much. We shall see how it goes. Die, you ugly goblin. <laughs> it's going to die. Yes. Quality. And the last bugger. Right. Quality. Thank you. Games, the game might be. I think it might be in a slightly reduced speed, but it's uh, fully playable. It's just the sound being a little bit choppy. And uh, there's another battle, so we won't be going into battle. Let's uh, give a try with a different game. Uh, we might go for uh, F24 Steel Fighter. I have to admit, I was really surprised with that game because it runs perfectly smooth on this emulator. There is not a single issue or single problem with the lag or sound with nothing. Uh, let's go for the new game. Whatever. Next, next, next. I think I've just started. Right, I'm in the air now. Small barrel. I think I could look both ways. We can control the throttle. It's just this bit over there. I think... I'm really... I'm really bad in this game. But you have to admit, the performance it's really amazing, right? I would shoot him, but I don't know how. <laughs> I mean, right, uh, it's going to, to be interesting. Anyway, this is how it looks like. It's not about me playing the game, it's just showing how it looks like. So that's X24. Uh, we could go for one of the Star Wars games. Stars. Let's go for the uh, Star Wars, the complete saga. I wonder if I could skip it. No, I don't think so. It is a bit choppy and uh, I think we'll have to go through the intro. Or maybe not. Let's go. Let's go for the new game. Uh, we won't be messing too much. Right, so... Uh, no, just go away. I can't really see it properly from that angle, and I don't really know where I'm going. Is that the right room? Uh, I don't think so, it doesn't really look like a right room. Right, so we have to step back. Come on. I think that's the first episode. Right, Phantom Minis, let's go. Uh, we go for the story. Press start. There you go.
I don't think we can skip it. So I'll have to watch all the intro. There you go, even touch screen works. Oh, it gets better and better. There is not a lag playing the game, I just need to find... Alright, oh, I think I'm... That's the lightsaber. How do I jump? Right, with a, a button. So, this game is fully playable as well. I think I could do some... Oh, it's a bit too late for that. Oh no! Alright. Just done something. Perfectly fine, not a problem. Fully playable, sound just a bit choppy. That's the only issue. Right, so that's the drastic emulator. You have to admit, its performance is very, very good, and all the games, they look really impressive. Obviously, there is still a room for improvement, but even at this moment, majority of the titles are fully playable. Majority of the 3D titles, because I don't even think, I don't think I do apologize. I have to mention that certain games like Professor Layton or Mega Man or many more, they're just 2D games. They run with no problems, even with the sound. Drastic emulator. It's a really, really good emulator. So it's a big thumb up and thank you for the developer. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Drastic on Open Pandora 1GHz. Thanks for watching.